Hi world. Chatty Dad One here coming at ya. Why we need guns. Why we need the Second Amendment. Why we need our Constitution. There's a reason that we need a Constitution. There's been some events happen here in the past few weeks that has shaken me to my core. It has shaken many Americans to their core. I'm specifically talking about the lockdown that happened in Watertown, Massachusetts, where, despite what you may hear, hear or have heard, citizens were treated as criminals. Is it in time for another Battle of Athens? The experts agree gun control works. But these are some uh, pictures of some of the happenings in Watertown, Massachusetts last weekend where we lost our freedom, where we lost our constitution, where America had its darkest day, I believe, since the Civil War. We have not had this type of oppression since the Civil War, to my knowledge, exacted upon the American people. And the saddest thing is, is that the people cheered, cheered them on. Liberty died with applauds and cheering. Why is that woman holding her hands up if she was uh, doing this voluntarily? Boston Strong, I'm sorry. I'm disappointed with Boston, with Watertown. I'm disappointed in those Americans because they forgot the basic values and rights that we are supposed to have. Now, we outnumber them. This guy was busted down and arrested just because he was uh, walking around Dartmouth campus during the, uh, <clears throat> the shutdown. as really did do what they're accused of doing. But I know they did not receive the due process that's given to most of us. I don't believe they did anyway. Maybe they did. Maybe I'm wrong. And maybe they did. Maybe they gave them more. But they didn't treat them like they did the Saudi national that they rushed out of the country, did they? chickens.
I mean, this is just unbelievable, people. I, I'm just floored by this. I am shaken to my core by what has happened. Even more so that no one, I shouldn't say no one, but very few are speaking out against what has happened. What is wrong with us? Do we deserve to be free? Do we deserve to have a constitution if we're not going to stand up for it and fight for it? I don't believe we deserve it. I don't know that we still have it. Weapons of war have no place on our streets, except for in Watertown and towns soon to come to a city near you and me. Oppression. See, we outnumber them. We outnumber them. Oppression, fail. Absolutely. We've just got to get to a point where we've had enough. Have you had enough? When is enough enough? These are some things we need to be thinking about right now. Praying about. Asking ourselves. Talking with our family about. What are we going to do if this happens to us? Are we going to lay down and let them come in our house? Treat us like criminals? Or are we going to stand up for our rights? What are we going to do? Because people, the time to ask that question is now. Right now. 1941, Berlin, Germany. 2011, Los Angeles, California. Watertown, Massachusetts. Are you worried yet? I am. Because there sure seems to be very few men standing up ready to defend for our freedoms. And that worries me greatly. And it should worry you too. Because if none will stand, we might as well give up now. I love this country. I love my town and community, my family. I love the freedoms that we're that were fought for and given to us from our fathers before. But I'm so, so upset and so saddened and my heart breaks to see what's happened with nobody to give a voice of opposition. I hope everybody's well. I hope everybody asks themselves some questions because they need to be asked. Are you worried yet? This is Chatty Dad 1. God bless. Good luck to us all. Buy all the ammo you can, if, where, and when, and how you can. Never give up your guns or your rights. They are linked together. Love to all. Chatty Dad 1. Over and out.